The world is approaching a disturbing new threshold in the COVID-19 pandemic. As of tonight, nearly one million people have died of the virus. As David Aiken reports, there are warnings the global toll of this pandemic could get much worse in the next year. Around the world and here in Canada, protests against COVID-19 restrictions. In Madrid, Sunday, thousands in a working class neighborhood protested lockdowns that had shut down businesses. In Toronto, Saturday, hundreds protested mask regulations. But public health authorities in Canada and globally are warning masks and some regional lockdowns are vital to what the government of Canada is calling a second wave of transmissions. We really are at a crossroads with COVID right now. The global death count from COVID-19 is about to hit 1 million. And in Canada and elsewhere, the number of new cases is on the rise. That has prompted a warning from the World Health Organization that deaths could hit 2 million before a vaccine is available. We look uh, at uh, losing a million people in nine months and then we just look at the realities of getting vaccine out there in the next nine months. It's a big task for everyone involved. Indeed, that task was the dominant theme at the just concluded Leaders Week at the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Whoever finds the vaccine must share it. This is a global responsibility and it's a moral responsibility for a vaccine to be shared far and wide. Almost all leaders spoke to the near empty UN General Assembly Hall via video conference. In his taped address, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi vowed that India's vaccine production and delivery capacity will be used to help all humanity in fighting this crisis. Uh, introduce Canada's new ambassador to the UN, Bob Ray, introduced Prime Justin Minister, Trudeau. Right Honourable Justin Trudeau. Trudeau, in his speech, said multilateral institutions like the UN have never been more important and that global cooperation on vaccine development is crucial. Let's use our shared power not just to get a vaccine, but to get it out to everyone. The Canadian government has already spent millions of dollars to reserve millions of candidate vaccine doses. When it comes to that spending to fight the virus, my message to Canadians is we will do whatever it takes. Indeed, on Monday in the House of Commons, MPs will debate new legislation that calls for spending an additional $4.5 billion on vaccine research and development. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa.